guys, now today we'll talk about something called as Defi Hellman algorithm. Now, what is Defi Hellman? So, uh, in previous video, we have talked about symmetric key and asymmetric key, right? So, in symmetric key, so in, in cryptography, what we have, you have to encrypt a file and you have to decrypt a file, right? So, if those, if both these keys are same, you know, for encryption, we need a key, for decryption, we need a key, right? So, if both these keys are same, it's called a symmetric key cryptography. In asymmetric, what you have, you have to use some different key for encryption. You'll be using some different key for decryption, right? So for encryption, what we are using, we are using something called as public key. And for decrypting, we are using something called as private key. So we have this both different keys, right? And this combination will be called as asymmetric key, right? So today we'll talk about symmetric key. Now let's suppose if, uh, if there's a person called as uh, Mukesh. And there's a person called as Ronak. So we have two person, one is Mukesh and Ronak. Okay. And Mukesh wants to send a file to Ronak. Let's suppose this is your file, right? So to, to send this file, first they have to encrypt. So Mukesh will encrypt this message with a value k1. And Ronak will decrypt this message with k2. And the ultimate thing is this k1 and k2 should be same, right? So they both is, you need to say, use the same keys. Then question arise, if Mukesh goes with a key, let's suppose key is 15, how will Ronak will know that the key is 15? Then you will say, okay, so first Mukesh will send a file, a, a, a key, K1 to Ronak. But the problem is, if let's suppose there is somewhere between this, a person called Ashish, and Ashish try to hack this key, K1. So afterwards, if Mukesh want to send a file also, Ashish can decrypt it, right? So we don't want anyone other than Mukesh and Ronak to know the file. So what we need to do is, we need to exchange these keys, okay? So, so see, this is sure, right? We have to exchange key in such a way that no one will come able to come to know, right? So Mukesh will generate a key K1 and Ronak will generate a key K2 and both these keys should be same. And for that, to achieve that, we need an algorithm called as Defi Hellman algorithm. So using this, you can exchange, you can create some keys and you can exchange those keys. Now how to do it? So we have some steps here. So steps goes in this way. The first step you have to go, Mukesh and Ronak will go, will come to a conclusion, will take two numbers, N and J, using an insecure network, right? Let's suppose Mukesh says, okay, let's go for a, let's go for two values. One is N, second is G. And they will go with values like n is equal to 11 and g is equal to 7. So they are going with some values, okay. So n is 11 and g is 7. Then what they will do, now this is, this is, uh, this is network, right. So this, this is your network and you are sending a file n and g. Let's suppose if Ashish in between try to hack it, okay. So Ashish will know n and g, right. So Ashish knows n and g. But what Mukesh will do, he will select one more number x and Ronak will select one more number as y. Okay, so Mukesh has X and Ronak has Y. And let's suppose X value is 3 and Y value is 6. Now, Ash, Mukesh don't know about Y value. Ronak don't know about X value. And that's why Ashish don't know about X and Y. So, X is with Mukesh. Y is with Ronak. So, Ashish don't know about X and Y. Now, what, what Mukesh will do, he will try to calculate a value A. And Ronak will try to calculate a value B. So, formula for A is G raised to X mod n and formula for b is a raised to y because or not a it's g raised to y mod n right so this is your formula now how to calculate this we have g g is your 7 7 raised to 3 mod 11 now it is mod it's a remainder right so let's suppose if you have 3 7 raised to 3 it's 343 mod 11 so the answer will be First we, have to, first, we have to divide this number 343 by 11 and the remaining, the, uh, remain, uh, the remainder part you will get here and the re remainder you will get is 2, right? So, when you divide a number 343 mod 11, you will get a value 2. And then this value 2, uh, Mukesh will send A to Ronak. So, Ronak now has a value A, right? And the value of A will be 2. Then what next? Now again, uh, Y will select, a, uh, Ronak has selected a value Y and he will try try to calculate a value B. Now for B, uh, Tula, okay. Now 
how we will calculate b is your g value is 7 right so 7 raised to 6 mod the value for n is 11 right now what is 7 raised to 7 raised to 6 it's some number the number is it's 1 1 7 6 4 9 mod 11 and once you calculate this value using calculator the value you will get is 4 so b is 4 a is 2 and b is 4 so mukesh has sent a, a value of a to ronak now ronak will send a value of b to mukesh now mukesh know about b which is 4 so ronak now knows about a and mukesh knows about b right ashish also knows about a and b right so ashish has value a and b but ashish don't know about x Ashish don't know about Y. In fact, Mukesh don't know about Y and Ronak don't know about X, right? So we, we are still maintaining some secrecy here. Now, what afterwards? Once you get the value of B, now Mukesh will try to calculate the value of K1. Now, how to achieve K1? The formula for K1 is B raised to, since uh, Mukesh knows about B, right? So B raised to X mod N and Ronak will try to calculate value K2, which is a raised to y mod n. Again, how to what's the secrecy part? Can Ashish can calculate k1? No, because Ashish don't know about x. Can he calculate k2? No, because Ashish don't know about y. So Ashish knows about a, b, n, and g. What is secret is x and y. Okay. Then what next? When you say k1 equal to now b value is 4, 4 raised to 3 mod 11. And 4 is to 3, you will get a value as 64. So it's 64 mod 11. And the value for K1 you will be getting is 9. Okay, so once you calculate, you will get 9. And here also, your A, so you will try to calculate K2. So this is K1. K1 is 9. K2 is, so it's A. A is your 2, right? So 2 is to, Y value is 6. So 2 is to 6 mod 11. Now when you say 2 is to 6, it's again 64. So it is 64 mod 11 and answer you will get is 9. So K2 is 9, K1 is 9 and we have achieved something which is K1 and K2 are same. So K1 is 9, K2 is 9 and finally we have achieved a key which is same and this is how your defi helmet algorithm works, right? It's simple, you have to follow some steps, approximately you have 7 steps, okay? So this is defi helmet and that's what this video. So uh, do subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much.